Attention, Report 076-2-682 is for review by Class 4 personnel only. Incident, 076-2-682. SCP involved. SCP-682, SCP-076-2. Personnel involved, Dr. Gears, Professor Kane Pathos Grow, Generals. And Mobile Task Force Omega-7. A.K.A. Pandora's Box. Date. Location. Northern Canada. Description. Omega-7 of dispatched after reports of SCP-682 being sighted in the area. Dr. Gears, Professor Kane Pathos Grow, Generals. And. Temporarily attached to supervise and observe. Over objection by SCP-076-2. Contact made three hours after initial deployment. After several hours of searching, SCP-682 is eventually found in near having killed the civilian population there. SCP-076-2 stopped Omega-7 from firing upon 682, then approached the subject. The pair are seen to converse for several minutes, with SCP-076-2 constantly looking back at the main group, and gradually becoming more and more agitated as the conversation goes on. SCP-076-2 attacked SCP-682 with a bladed weapon. SCP-682 disarmed and attacked SCP-076-2 with its claws, suffering massive damage. SCP-076-2 re-engaged SCP-682 after recovering from the initial assault. Combat proceeded quickly, with both SCPs suffering and dealing enormous amounts of damage. SCP-682 suffered the most damage recorded to date, with damage or removal of over 93% of its body. SCP-076-2 produced more weapons in this single event than the total number recorded since containment. SCP-682 was incapacitated, with SCP-076-2 preparing to finish it off, when the anomaly occurred. Sensors and monitoring equipment measure an enormous burst of electromagnetic energy, radiation, and wildly varied temperature readings. Site Command received reports from central monitoring of a sudden alteration in space-time, localized around SCP-682. Analysis has shown this event to be consistent with both the sudden appearance and disappearance of a black hole, or the theoretical event of a sudden hole forming between our dimension and another. Serious questions had been raised in light of the anomaly, and the repulsed reaction SCP-682 has to most organic life. It is currently theorized that SCP-682 is not alive in our sense of the word, or possibly is extra-dimensional in origin. SCP-682 and SCP-076-2 both incapacitated due to physical trauma. SCP-682 moved to temporary containment. Remains of SCP-076-2 and combat area fire bombed from the air. Missile test misfire story issued. Notes. I am telling you, it's not actually here. I think SCP-076 is the same way. It's like poking your finger into a balloon. You're inside it, but still outside of it. They are projecting into our reality, and causing all kinds of problems when our reality tries to comprehend them. It's like in programming, when you request a pixel that isn't there, it makes the whole system go haywire. Doctor. 